All right, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, this is Stephen from Delaware Camera. Uh, wanted to uh, we've got a real quick uh, launch presentation on the brand new 28 to 200 millimeter uh, Sony E mount lens from Tamron. Uh, from Tamron today we have uh, Andrew Martin and Damian Ferran uh, who will be doing the presentation for us. So, Damian, uh, if you want to get us started, thank you. Thank you, Steve, and everyone, thanks for watching this webinar. Uh, we will discuss the FE lenses and the Tamron 28 to 200 specifically. Uh, welcome, my name is Damien Ferron. I'm a national technical representative with Tamron USA. Um, let's talk about the Tamron's FE lineup. The FE lineup, basically is for the full frame mirrorless system for Sony. So all of our lens that are designated FE are specifically designed for the Sony mirrorless system. We've created a full robust line of 2.8 lenses and I'll give you a brief rundown and history of our lenses and what we've accomplished with them. Um, as I stated there for the Sony full frame mirrorless, there's a constant 2.8 theme throughout the lenses. We've basically created a new standard. The lenses are all fast, they're compact and lightweight. So first we started out with the two. The first two lenses were the 28 to 75, which was introduced into 2018. Then next we had the 17 to 28, designed specifically for the Sony system. They're both currently in store now, relatively 899 and seven, I'm sorry, 879. And I must stress that they are not retrofit lenses, meaning these are not other versions of a 28 to 75 or 17 to 28 that we may specifically or be designed to fit the Sony system. These are specifically designed with the Sony body in mind. <clears throat> so with those lenses, the 2.8 zoom lenses, the uses are endless um, with the 2.8 throughout the lineup. Night skies is always on the list for most travel photographers. Um, this gives you great capability, but it's still lightweight. Locations are not just in nature, but also in cities. Um, which is a great place for the lightweight class of the lenses as well. It can be a bit easier to approach a scene with a smaller system that's heavily populated by photographers, meaning other photographers that are walking around the city. And let's just say they were crowded around trying to get this shot. You have other photographers with big zoom lenses. With the zoom lenses that we have with the Sony system, it makes it a little more, a little less intrusive. For those two products, we have won the ESO Award for 2018 and 2019 for the mirrorless standard zoom lens and the wide angle zoom lens for the 17 and 28. So these are really great awards and achievements that Tamron has been able to uh, accomplish during that time. After the 28 to 75 and the 17 and 28, we then started with the primes. We had three prime lenses. And again, there is a constant feature throughout all of the primes. The new FE mount prime lenses are for the shooter who is comfortable shooting with the prime lenses. Prime lenses, of course, allow you to be a little more creative. One of the standards that is throughout all three is that the minimum object distance is relatively less than six inches across the board. Uh, with the 35, it's 5.9. With the 24, it's 4.7 and with the 20 millimeter, it's 4.3. I just say six, just to keep everything even. Um, they're also lightweight, which is a great thing as well. <clears throat> so like I said, the Tamron's full FE mount prime lineup, the constant feature are you have a constant 2.8 aperture, moisture resistant construction and the fluorine coating, which offers exceptional mobility and outdoor functionality. 
The three prime lenses are developed with the concept of ease of use with an attractive feature of a 1.2 macro close-up shooting and all of our Tamron FE mount lenses can fully employ the in-camera stabilization of the Sony body should the user ever decide to do so. The advantage of shooting with the primes at 2.8, night shooting of course with the FAF aperture is one. For those that are into nighttime shoots, but there's also the shallow depth of field and macro capabilities that you have with the prime lenses. Like I said, the minimum object distance um, is less than six inches. You can also have the advantage of creativity. The lightweight primes force you to see things differently when you're shooting. So they're great for everyday life and or traveling. So currently, like I said, we have the 20, 24, 35 millimeter primes. They're all 349 um, before the current rebate of $50. So if you're in the market for a new prime lens, now's a great time to take advantage of that offer. We also have in your local camera store now is the 70 to 180. The new 70 to 180 is our telephoto lens with what's called the VXD, which is the Voice Coil Extreme Torque Drive. It's specifically designed for the 70 to 180. This provides, um, this provides a great autofocus performance and the autofocus system drive maintains its positional accuracy less than one-tenth the width of a hair. Um, it has a floating design floating system design that uses two high speed, high precision VXD units, which make tracking um, sports and face detection a lot easier. This ensures that those dramatic action packed moments are never missed, whether you're shooting stills or video. Also, this innovative design produces clear and beautiful images of all objects from near to far it's based up 19 elements and 14 groups, and you have a constant 2.8 throughout the zoom range. The minimum object distance is 33 and a half inches, and it's fairly light coming, at, coming in at 28.6 ounces. So the VXD system, the telephoto system, is really great um, since it offers superior quietness, which makes it ideal for shooting in low noise environments. Also, the minimum object distance of the 70 to 180 is just 33 and a half inches across the entire zoom range. This is a great accomplishment, accomplishment um, for Tamron with the fast aperture telephoto lens. The short minimum object distance at the 180 millimeter telephoto end in particular gives you a magnification ratio of one to 4.6, allowing you to create powerful close-up images. So that's six lenses that are currently out, but we're not done yet. Tamron has a question for you. Have you ever wished that you could go for a hike and only take one lens, but couldn't find someone that manufactured what you needed? Have you ever tried to go to the Amazon or the Serengeti where you were genuinely confined by space and weight and could only take one lens? Are you a passionate parent who wants to document the fleeting moments of childhood but cannot carry tons of gear around like the pros? And finally, do you like gear from other manufacturers but find the cost to benefit ratio never seems to make as much sense as you think it should? If you answer yes to any of those questions, then Tamron definitely has you covered. Now we are announcing the 28 to 200, 2.8, 5.6 DI, 3 XRD. It's the world's first super zoom lens. To start from 2.8 for Sony E mount lenses on the full frame mirrorless cameras. The Tamron 28 to 200 is sharp, fast, and compact. Everything you have come to expect from Tamron. We've also taken an uncompromising approach to optical performance with this lens. 
the special LD, which is low dispersion, and XLD, extra low dispersion elements, have greatly suppressed chromatic aberrations to achieve a high image quality from edge to edge. These are some of the benefits and features. Of course, it's a world first, all in one zoom. It's lightweight, uncompromising image quality, superior up close shooting. You have the quiet RXD stepping motor system with direct manual focus. Also throughout the uh, Sony lineup, we have a 67 millimeter filter diameter, moisture resistant construction. And like I said, it's compatible um, with the Sony systems, especially for the Sony Eye Autofocus and IBIS. So we've integrated many of our other leading technologies into this lens, such as the close focusing object distance, resulting in a one to 3.1 macro at the 28 millimeter end with the 28 to 200. There are 18 elements in 14 groups with the series of the coatings. So we've taken an uncompromising approach to optical performance with this lens. Um, the different coatings, the LD, XLD, BBAR, they offer a high anti-reflective benefits and reduce what would otherwise occur, excuse me, reduce ghosting and flare that would otherwise occur, especially when shooting backlit scenes. And this is just an MTF chart to show in comparison to the 24 to 240. Um, and as you see, we come off sharper than the 240 millimeter. The focus capabilities, you can uh, close sharp focus as you have come to expect with many of our products. As part of the design, we've integrated the RXD stepping motor, which is exceptionally quiet. The autofocus drive on the 20 to 200, like I said, it includes the RXD motor unit to help you stay focused on your subject. The actuator is precise to control the rotational angle of the motor, allowing it to directly drive the focusing lens. This lens delivers excellent optical performance to match the high resolution image sensors on the latest camera bodies as well. And like I said, it also we're doing, we have a continuity of size and weight, the dimensions and features that you have come to love and trust with our FE lineup. One of the benefits of course, with the 28 to 200 is options when it comes to focal length, you have 28, at the wide end, you can go all the way out to 200. And as you can see in this particular series of photos, you can get a variety of shots at different focal lengths of the same subject. So our current advertising info, this is what you'll pretty much see. Uh, the new 20 to 200 has been designed for the photo enthusiasts who requires usability and compactness with great optical performance. You'll find all the information you might need from our website, your social feeds, or your local camera store. So of course, with the 28 to 200, you'll be in a variety of experiences to actually capture the moment. So of course, you can do the wide angle. It's great for landscapes. It's great for candids as well. Like I mentioned earlier, you could do a little street photography and also mix in some candidates with that as well. You can enjoy close up shots that were not possible with an all in one zoom until now. Again, you can do wide scenic views. And great for travel, great for cityscapes, great for people. It's a very versatile lens to take with you when you're traveling especially abroad. Now we'll talk about the macro capabilities. The 20 to 200 offers uh, an amazing close-up performance for the all-in-one zoom. And the minimum object distance is roughly seven and a half inches um, with a maximum magnification ratio of one to 3.1. At the telephoto end, 
It has a MOD of 31 and a half inches with a maximum magnification ratio of one to 3.8. But it's the versatility of this fast aperture and focal range that really allows photographers to capture all the moments of travel and nature to sports and even stellar night photography. So by breaking conventional limitations, the Tamron 28 to 200 will provide endless creative possibilities and open up a new world in your photography. So just a quick review, the 28 to 200 designed for the photo enthusiast who requires usability and compactness. It's the world's first all-in-one zoom. It's lightweight, moisture resistant with the fluorine coating. You have the 67 millimeter thread, a zoom lock and direct manual focus feature. And it's compatible with the built-in Sony Eye autofocus and IBS. Again, these are constant themes that are seen within the Tamron FE lineups. So when it comes to all-in-one zooms, the innovative 20 to 200 is in a class by itself. So just for a full review, all of our FE mount lenses are designed from the ground up. All of our FE mount lenses allow the camera's in-body stabilization. All of the FE mount lenses are, have a 67 millimeter front thread. All of the FE mount lenses are lightweight and compact. Like I said, they really complement the body very well. They're all 2.8 aperture even our all-in-one. All the Tamron Prime lenses are half macro, one to two, and all the FE Prime lenses are only $299 with the current rebate. We offer a six-year warranty on all of our products. Most manufacturers offer three years at most, some offer five. We are the only ones that provide you with a six-year warranty, and we have exceptional customer service and support. If you ever need to have your lens service, the turnaround time is only three business days and we have great customer service as well. Any questions? Damien, I have a question. The, the, can you go back to the MTF chart? I had not actually seen that one before and that definitely looked like an impressive comparison to the 24 to 240. There we go. Yeah, so, yeah. so I'll add, especially a 200 millimeter, that the lens is very, very sharp. For an all-in-one zoom, you, you expect some diminished image quality, especially at the extreme, uh, but on the sample I, I briefly had to play around with, um, it was it was very impressive, almost as good. Not quite as good, but almost as good as the 70 to 180, which is saying a lot. Yeah, that, that edge, well, I mean, comparison, the edge sharpness there is pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get one of those in my hands and play with it myself. <laughs> good, good. But I think we have one, if it's not in the store now, I believe it should be tomorrow or Thursday. Oh, great, that's funny. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with mine just yet. I have to actually send it out to somebody. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it when I do get the chance. Hot, hot product right now, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And size-wise, if anyone's familiar with the 28 to 75 2.8 that, that we make, it is identical. When when the zoom is, is at its widest end, when the lens is closed, it's identical in size to that 28-75. So much so that it really the only difference looking at the lenses is that lock switch um i've i've mixed the two up countless times already because they're they're so close in, in size and, and design which is pretty cool for an all-in-one lens that you want to keep light and small when you're hiking around or traveling or whatever i agree and like i said earlier we're trying to keep everything constant as you see everything is going to be lightweight and compact in this design so it definitely goes with the 28 to 75, 17 to 28, and as well as the 70 to 180. They're all very lightweight and small.
Yeah, yeah, I think that the seventeen twenty eight and the twenty eight to two hundred is my new carry all combo. Just not much you can't do with that. Right. Damien, uh, we got a question in the chat. What uh, the minimum focus on that? Can you remind remind me again. I want to say it's like four and a half, on seven the, and a half inches on That's the twenty eight to three hundred. 2200, yeah. I'm sorry, 20 to 200. So at wide, it's seven and a half, and at telly, it's 31 and a half inches. Yeah, and like a one to three. Yeah, one three production to, ratio of that. One to 3.1 at the uh, wide end, and then I think it's one to 3.8 at the telephoto end. Nice. So yeah, you can do some, some quasi macro stuff with that. Yeah. I agree. Awesome. Uh, any other questions? And if, if we've, we've only got a couple people joining us here in the, the chat, if you want to unmute and ask a question, if you've got anything, or um, yeah. Otherwise, definitely uh, thank you, Damien, so much for uh, the, the presentation and going over things. And Andrew, again, thank you so much for everything. Yeah, you bet. The lens officially goes on sale on Thursday for 729. So you guys, uh, I think you probably have received some already, if not yeah, next day or so. And uh, yeah, if anyone's interested, definitely stop by Delaware Camera and, and check it out. Happy to help anybody out. Awesome. Andrew, Damien, thank you so much for joining us again. Steven from Delaware Camera. Uh, stop in the store. The store is open. Um, and any questions you have, certainly you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, email, phone, uh, or come on in the store. So thank you very much. Have a good one. Thank cool. you, Steve. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Have a good one, everyone.